Hi guys, Ging is here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, uh, yeah, we are here at the province together with a uh, short province girl. Um, actually, we are here almost uh, four days here staying. And yeah, for today's video, I will be going to show you our farm and our province life here uh, with my parents. So, alright guys, um, like what I said, um, in this video, I will be going to show you um, our life here in the province, which uh, my uh, original place, hometown here in the province, which uh, where my parents live. And they are, they live, they live in a, a farm. Uh, actually, my parents uh, plant a, they grown a, sugar cane and also um corn so we have here also a kamoti tops this one this green one is the kamoti tops so um this is the farm of my father here so that is the sugar cane there and also there and that is that area is corn so actually today um we are the harvesting a corn and i decided uh by filming them so to show you our life here in the province and where the where the where the originally live here so anyway here uh the plant also um commodity tops here this one this is the kamoti tops, the green one. This one, so. Actually, today is a bit rainy, rainy, so. I got, uh, I got news that there's a typhoon, typhoon this coming few days, but I'm scared because we're here in the province and it's not a good it's not a good timing it's not a good timing that we are here in the province and it's raining and you know here in the province if it's raining the the soil is so muddy and the road is muddy and i hate it so this is the corn Laya na. Huh? Oh. That is my older sister. Itabang siya o tanggi. Iya, daw ilmar. O si ako eh. Here guys, the farm is very sunny and my father, um, my father, uh, pick up the big stones here and put there here as a trail or as a wall to make it, uh, to make it easier to, because my papa, uh, use a, a carabao because we don't have a machine here and we, we use it very manual here and especially when they plant a corn they use by their hand and my my father uh 
uh, doing a trail like this one. It's very stony. Like that. This one. I get this one. The cool. They are there, my mom, my mama, and my younger sister, and also my neighbor. Neighborhood, they are here. They are trying to help to harvest a corn. Because uh, this morning, it was rainy, really, and we're supposed to go as uh, uh, water poles, but uh, we didn't go because it's so rainy, it's heavy rain, so we stay at home so we decided to harvest our corn here in the province and yeah okay. so this is my mother and my younger sister hi mama hello hello hi hello. this is the yellow corn Yes, yellow yes. corn. Yeah. Yellow corn. This is the yellow corn, guys. You can see a white and yellow. Diba? Yeah. White and yellow. Mang, ilagay ni kabulan usa ma harvest ang ano ma? Ang mais. Ah, uh, may mama. 3 months, 2 to 3 to 4 months. 3 to 4 months. My mama said uh, if you plant a corn, it will take uh, 3 to 4 months before you harvest the corn. And di ba niingon mang kamanga? Kapila apply ano gabuno? How many times do you apply fertilizers in corn? So the the they need to apply a fertilizer when they planted the corn. Uh, when it uh, old at <laughs> Justin. Hello. 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 Sigira good. Okay. Oh no, na good and on sa naman no. Sigira. So my mama said that you they need to apply a fertilizer at uh, the corn age at one month and ten days. Ten. Ten days. Ten. So they should apply. So one ka, how many times do you apply ma? After that, tuman ana sa mabuno na pagkagusob. Gikan pa mangko sa wa pay bulan ang pagpugas sa pugas jud. And also, uh, my mama said, uh, when you plant a corn, you should apply a fertilizers uh, when you plant. Yeah, uh, kuna siya madungan nun. They will put fertilizer while they are planting the the corn. And then after that, after 1 month and 10 days, they should apply it again. And then, if they will say that the corn is not, the growth is not that good, then they will apply it again. I think three times. Katulo mo mag-apply ma or kaduha lang jud. Uh, my mama said it's only two times. And also, my mama said, uh, you, you need to wait uh, three months to four months so you can harvest the corn. So, nganong kinahanglan man jud butang abuno ang mais ma? Gamay. So he she said uh we need to put a fertilizer through the corn because uh if not 
um, the the corn didn't grow well and there is no production in it. Mm. So it's very important to apply apply fertilizer, especially um, especially the soil depending on the fertilizer already. So that's why. Mangkis raba ni si Justin. Ligoon ba ta na ganina dito? Ligoon na na ninyo? Ligoon na sa kaganya. Lumus ni niya. Masugba ko na sila, Mang. Sige, sugba na. Ay, dito baka nga. Sila ni Carlo. Sige, sugba na. Wala ito sa ako ka. Nita ito sa alagang bumi. If you have a corn like this, if who, who's the one help to plant the corn, they can also, um, they can also join to harvest the corn and then after after harvesting the people who help harvesting the corn they have a this is anagon in bisaya So, yeah, like what I said here in the province, guys, if you plant a corn and then if there's uh, people or our neighborhood are willing to, um, willing to help to plant a corn and then my mama and papa is, it's okay for that. And, and then the time that they will harvest the corn and also that people who help the who help to plant the corn will also help to harvest the corn and after that the people who help to harvest the corn they will have a share they will have a shared corn so anyway um um in in corn there are four varieties uh, yellow corn, white corn, sticky corn, and also white corn. So, that's it. So, this area is the, is the sugar cane part there. It's very big stones here. Big stones. When we, you know, I just wanted to share that when we came here for the first time, uh, we don't have any, we don't have house, um, we don't have land, we don't have anything. And then my papa went this place because the family of my mother is originally, originally came from here. So we decided to stay it here. When I was a kid, um, we are struggling in our life. Um, uh, our house is very small. We don't have water. 
we don't have water in in the house it's very far it's something like um 15 minutes 15 to 20 minutes by walking and you need to uh you need to carry a big container to gather some water and then that uh that work is every day i remember when i was a kid and and i remember when i was a kid how uh, hard our life here in the province and and my papa my papa is uh, working hard very much at that time um we don't have a we don't have yet um corn and sugar cane because we don't have any land here or any properties and then we dis uh we found a uh, a uh, very close of ours very close of my father and he he let my father um work this land a piece of this land then my papa work work this land and he he worked very hard he worked very hard and he planted corn and sugar cane here as well as my mama also helped him and then uh, well in that time uh, we don't like what I said the water is very far and we started our life here by um, um, growing a animals like cow, carabao, goats, and also this one, this uh, sugar cane is um, so in that race uh, as of the hard work of my papa. So we we survived. We survived here by doing the farming, by doing the farming by corn and sugar cane. So even even um we are not rich or we don't have money but at least we eat uh, three times a day and my papa uh find way or work to get uh or I mean to provide our needs here in the province. So yeah, I'm so proud of him. He's he's uh doing his best for us. So, this one also is a sugar cane there, and also there. So, there, I remember before we have a very small house there. And we're uh we have a small house there and then to go there um fifteen to twenty minutes to get water to gather some water and yeah it's very hard when we especially especially we are uh we have schooling and my I have younger sister and we should uh, wake up very early in the morning something like 5 a.m. so 5 30 and we will uh, shower there we'll walk and yeah that is our daily routines and then time comes that I, I feel like oh my god it's really tired here and I feel like oh I want to I want to help my parents as well also so I decided when I was 12 years old I um I am um, finding my way to to work. I was working student, so at that time that I working student until I graduated senior high school. So because I know how hard the life here in the province. <laughs> So this is the yellow corn guys, they carried it here from the farm to here.
My sister doing sulba. And so this is our dirty kitchen. This dirty kitchen. Finish product. I'm a boy. 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 I'm a